Hey Design Squad, welcome back. Uh, welcome to another episode of Design Tool Tuesdays, where I tend to review tools which I find useful myself, or recent discoveries, or widgets, or plugins. There's something which would add value to product design, UI designers, user researchers, UX designers, you name it. And what I'm gonna show you today is this awesome small tool which I've been trialing for quite some time now, and it's called My Mind, an extension basically which allows you to easily bookmark creative stuff, notes, infographics, tweets, you name it, anything you find on a web in a browser. And you might ask, what's the difference between Pinterest and any other kind of like an ecosystem which hosts your pins, pocketable stuff, whatever you put into a feed which you want to revisit later, is that this is meant to be super elegant solution to represent how your mind would work in order to recap those details. If I jump straight to manifesto, it's basically saying no social features, no collaboration, vanity metrics, social pressure tracking, no ads, and it's always private. All of the stuff which should really matter to everyone at this point, right? But let me just really quickly show you what my mind is about. As an extension, it's something you can add to your browser. And as you can see, you have this orange plus icon, click on some sort of content on a page. As you can see, I'm imagine that I'm reading this article, I can basically add the image to my mind or whatever I select, I can add that to my mind. I can then add a tag as well if I want to tag it, for example, UX hiring. It's supposed to work as your mind because you always capture bits you like and then you probably revisit it or try to revisit using the tools. And I like this tool because of its elegance and simplicity. Now, if I jump to my mind, as you can see, I have quite a few different random bits pinned as I went and as I was progressing it, some of it is text. For example, this is a random text I just selected, highlighted, and they pinned. And I can go back to, let's say, Seth Godin's blog to revisit all of it, but that was enough for me. And I like the simplicity of this. I could also add a tag. So, for example, if I add Seth Godin and I add marketing or something along those lines, or this specific article is about, it's between the difference between hacks and pros and amateurs and so forth. It's, you know, one of those things. But you can tag it yourself, you can label it. The best bit that a lot of information is being dragged as you add bits. Imagine if we take something like this, for example, a funny illustration. As you can see it picked out the colors, but it also picked out a lot of different bits because it has that, I guess what you would call optical recognition of different elements, be it text, be it colors. It also picks up, I guess, the tags of the underlying bit, whatever was mentioned in that tweet, which I just added to my mind. For example, at one point, I was just amazed and was capturing all the UI patents out there. As you can see, all these bits are the patented elements out there, like Tinder swipe, let's say, or like or reject options. So I was basically adding them to my mind. And now, as I want to revisit it, I could just go back, let's say, and look for UI or look for patent or something like that. And I'm going to get all of them tagged because some, you know, and even if let's and even if let's say one of the items like slide to unlock might not have a patent in it as a tag, I think it connects the dots between exactly where the source is and all the tag meta information which comes to it. And I could also specify, of course, myself that, hey, this is a patent and to do with the patents. And just to show you some other specifics, for example, if I would type black here, it would show me black and white ones. So if I would type line, it show me line and it has a lot of different detection bits here. As you can see, you can detect this visually that, hey, this is a line art and it's paper and stuff like that. So you can always go back and check for it. Now, of course, I could talk about it all day. I could show you the shortcuts. I could talk to you about all the other developments of that. But it's super simple. It's super elegant solution for, you know, any creative, I guess, or any person whatsoever who just wants to organize different bits the same way their mind works. Now, I have five five invites for the early access, which I want to give out to my viewers here on the channel. So the first five people who would email me, you can find the email in the about page in this channel. I'm just going to send it out to you and then you can access it yourself and check it out. Of course, it's an early access preview. There's going to be a lot more to this app and a lot more to come. I'm just going to allow you to explore and make up your own minds. I hope you find this interesting. If so, give a like, subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned for more material like this. And until next time.